ladies and gentlemen, welcome into this week's edition of the Lego Legacy Heroes Unboxed edition of the Escape Pod cast. Hello, Llama. Hi, Paul. You got a haircut. I did. I figured since, you know, Neil didn't go for the full gridden haircut, somebody on this team had to give him a run for his money. Yeah, you you are the female gridden. You have the best hair in in our uh, in our entire uh, content uh, creator family. <laughs> yes, now I do. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. This week we had a um we had a very very fun um week that we usually look forward to. It happens about once a month, right? Um, once every month or six weeks or so, something like that. Yeah. Every, every six weeks is good, but yeah. there'll be more. There will be more coming up. Um, Hellenic says that llama hair is the bestest hair. It is. It absolutely is. Thank you. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> so we are looking at a Q and a, we, we love, yes. we love the Q and a, uh, weeks. It's, it's exciting when we get to sit and uh, pick the brains of of the of the developers and the community managers of this game. And so we are going to go and we're gonna cover this from the beginning. I, I seriously, anytime that there was actually a question worth copying and pasting, I copied it and I pasted it over to you. Yes, in a in a DM. I so I the one thing that I have to say that I wish I could change about the Q and A's is that they were not smack dab in the middle of the work day. Because I was not able to make this one. I, I was able to get the last one and um I was not able to get this one. I was on a call the entire time. So uh, <laughs> I have not looked through any of this. So while Paul knows what's going on, I don't. So you're gonna get a semi live reaction from me because i have not seen any of it well the the fun part was is that we almost if it wasn't for this call we actually debated doing a uh, early show yeah <laughs> and spending <Yeah>. an hour <laughs> next next time we get a date for a q and a i'm taking a half day off of work i i think i'm gonna do the same thing too and we'll do it live how cool would that be we'll do it live <laughs> Well, what would be even better if they did the Q&A with us? How cool would that be? <laughs> you know, we, we would read read to them the questions that they uh, that they should ask. That would be cool. That would be cool. I know you're watching. I know you, that you're uh, that you're watching, Will. Consider it. Will and Abbo, they both watch. Ah. <sighs> All right. So, speaking of Abo, let's cover the first. Uh, let's cover the the first post of this Q and A. Thanks, Will, for starting this new Q and A. Oh yeah, he uh, he he made a uh, he made a hello there joke. This is uh, <laughs> this one is mostly about coming space update. Let us know space. what you want to know on it and what's and what's coming next. Here's a quick introduction to the rework and let's go. Space is the reworked frontier. Plug and play your space heroes to shut down synergies and overcome any team in the galaxy. I told you that space was the best. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be. I mean, we'll get into some more information and we'll hold off any major judgment until we get kits and more information and things like that. But it's very, very promising. Just from one line. Very promising. Yeah. So, uh, see space as a Swiss army knife, but in space. I later made the joke that they should just call it the space army knife. Space army knife. Uh, the core of space is about crowd control and shutting synergies down. Then each sub tag acts as a plug and play specifically to overcome your foe. As a result, each sub tag actually also works as well, uh, well as plug and play in teams with the same purpose, identify your enemy strength and assemble the right space combination to punish it. Aliens. So we have Locust. Love Locust. And yep. Gorwell and Deborah. That focuses on anti-taunt. Punishing your taunt 
people. Blacktron, Dwayne, and I think... Okay, so they have a question mark in number one. I think we talked about this we earlier. Did. We did talk about who Jens. this... Jens. Quincy. Blacktron Jens. Quincy. Oh, it is... It is uh, you're right. You're right. It is Blacktron Quincy. Quincy. Yes. So Dwayne and Quincy focus on punishing foes with buffs. Classic space, Spaceman Reed in question mark number two. Jens. Focuses on speed and pep manipulation. Ice, Commander Cold and Dr. Kelvin focuses on punishing off-turn actions. And Karstowski and Jens focuses on anti-stealth note. And then the word note was not supposed to be there and he later edited it out. <laughs> yep. So... Yes, you're right, Vintage. My apologies. My apologies. I, I, I'm excited for Jens. I really am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this so. is interesting, right? So we kind of... So a lot of these characters already have these, like, secondary... Um, I'm sorry, excuse my cat making loud noises. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so we, we kind of they gave a hint to this already with a faction like Ghostbuster. So all of the Ghostbusters character have secondary tags that allow them to be plug and play characters. So this is kind of like, they're building on that. They're, mm -hmm. they're, they're kind of expanding this sort of idea of, yeah, we've got a team that works really great together, but can we make them work apart? Yeah. So it's, they they went through. Uh, the first question that was answered was, so are we confirming that there will be a Dwayne rework? Yes. Yes. And Bricko did a happy dance on this day. <laughs> um, then somebody, uh, then uh, Tribor asked, raids, when? Something to spend gold on, when? Level 60 and gear 7, when? Guess what? We're getting... Gear uh, Gear Seven and Level Sixty. This coming update. This coming update. So save your pennies, folks. Save your pennies because you are going to be leveling up a whole bunch of mini things. So start saving saving your coins there because. And yeah. I, I I I am curious to see if they at the same time we get the the, the level cap in increase they like throw us a bone and do a money bags time quest at the same time because you know everybody's going to be dropping their uh their gold that would be nice and uh we're, we're gonna get to that we're, we're certainly gonna get to that not just a money bags timed quest i'd like to also see um the the money events run every day for a that week. would be nice that would be nice if they did like a lead up to you know and, and got everybody hyped for the no, for no, the not a lead up. because that'll if they did a lead up to it they would essentially be shooting themselves in the foot by giving people the stuff early right. truthfully what they should do in a business mindset is do it the day of the release and for a week after that. Because if they do it for a week after that, what will happen is that the people who want it now, 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 the Veruca assaults of the Lego Legacy world, will spend uh, crystals to get coin. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I think that going along those lines, I think that they should keep the, you know, the gold event, just peg legs treasure event, keep it up for a week. You can go in and sim it once each day, but they should give us the opportunity to spend crystals to refresh it if we want to. Mm. No, I, I think, they, I think they got it the way that, uh, um, I think they got it the way that, that it should be. I meant after this goes live. Because you can't refresh that. You can't refresh it. I think they should still buy it. You know? I, I, I yeah. still... I don't think that we should be able to refresh those events. Okay. It's it's the way that it should be. I'm sorry. I keep laughing at the little picture that we have down below. <laughs> I know. It's amazing. And we'll get there. But So, so next question we have... Um, Wow, that's a lot of news. Uh, how comprehensive are the re reworks then? Every character? 
Um, so literally every single space hero, with the exception of spacemen, Reed, I'm okay with is that. getting a rework. I'm okay some with that. Some reworks are big and some are small. So that's interesting because when we were talking, the top on our list to not get a rework was actually Locust. And we thought that Reed could or could not get a rework. So Locust appears as getting some sort of rework and Reed is not. And I'm okay with that. You know, it's yep. with the way that... um. With the way that the whole space faction is, I think that it works. Uh, really quick, uh, we have to credit Gina Cartoon for the picture that uh, they posted at the end of the Q&A. That's um, this one. Yep. The one right so below. So, Gina, uh, I, I will add some, uh, I'll add a credit here um, on the screen during the next chance that I have to uh, to do that. Um. The next question that was asked was, will Scarlet be farmable? We're, we're doing this in the order that they answered them in. Yes, the topics will jump around a little bit. Um, but, you know, this, this is kind of this what is, we wanted to do. Yeah, you're going to experience the Q&A like it happened. Yeah. Um, Scarlet farmable. Yes, unboxed characters except external IPs. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Usually waterfall into the game. I don't know what I don't know exactly what that means. Scarlet first went into general shop, and she'll soon move to likely a game mode shop. Please put her into the guild store. Please, there is no one useful except for Kelvin, maybe, <laughs> in that store. Put her in the guild store. We don't have anything to spend that currency on. People are just hoarding it. Yeah. Like a it, bunch of Smeagles. Is uh, Officer Primo coming into the rotation? His event is coming up soon. Very soon. Not just soon. Very soon. Yes. Yeah, go ahead and grab the next one while I while I give the credit here. Cool. Uh, so the next one was, uh, will Star Wars and Marvel ever come to the game? And Will says, anything is possible. Watermelon slice. <laughs> Uh, next one, there is going to be one new, wait, hold on, I think I missed one. Nope, nope, there's no question. Uh, there's going to be one new space hero added with the space update and another one coming in the near future. You might be able to see him in, in the heroes list when this update is released. So Quincy or Jens, who do you think is coming first? I think it's Quincy. I think we're gonna get the. Uh, um, I think we're gonna get the Blacktron edition, and then Jen's because of Jen's speed manipulation. Yep. Because of Jen's speed manipulation, I think that he is going to come in second. I agree. I agree with that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You and I saw that at the same time. <laughs> Your your fan does kind of look like newbie is over there on your side over the over to the side. It looks like newbie with a fan attachment. Newbie. Uh, for those who don't know who newbie is, newbie is a character that appears um, in in mind canon with the main show, based on Star Wars. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I I know you. you you're posting the image there, but I don't have the image. If people are watching this on YouTube, they're not seeing that image. Yeah. So you yeah, read the yeah. next one. I'll pull up a picture of newbie for, for right. our YouTube audience. Next one is uh, a, an excellent question and one that's definitely been on my mind. When are Wu and Jay coming back? Uh, we will be rerunning them both in the next month or so. Calendar is being finalized now so that calendar of that event calendar that they teased in the last q a is apparently being finalized and we should hopefully get that soon which is good because they said it's going to be like what six weeks or so the the calendar is going to be six weeks worth of uh information they'll give us the next yep. six weeks of events so that'll be that'll be really great and it'll be good to give people an opportunity to kind of plan and farm and um have an idea of, of how they can be prepared for what's coming yeah, go ahead, go ahead and keep going there. I'm I'm still looking for where I put all the all the pictures of the badges. 
So speaking of Gorwell and Debra, someone asked, can we please get a confirmation to Gorwell slash Debra's pronouns? And <laughs> I love the pronoun that. <laughs> the pronoun is they. So when referring to Gorwell and Debra, you should refer to them as they. Definitely. I don't uh Hellenix, send me a picture of newbie real quick. I'll get it up there on, on the screen. Um so shortly. next one is um this is actually a question from you, actually. Uh, Mr. Paul Anthony, Escape Podcast, asks, I know that this Q&A is about space, but I would like to know if us content creators could help reveal some of the space stuff as well. And, and what was answer, the answer there? Will's answer is, yes, check your messages, TM, winky face. So tomorrow, looks like we're oh, finally going to get the content creator program tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully that means tomorrow, because, I mean, he did give that answer last Q&A, and that Q&A was a while ago. That is true, but, uh, yeah. So I, I put uh, I put newbie uh, right underneath you there, Llama, on the screen. A little <laughs> man, right? I think he's yeah, yeah, there. right down there. <laughs> All right. So so you see newbie in the back of Llama, and you see newbie uh, on the screen underneath Llama. <laughs> uh, the next uh, one, the next question... Yep. Was, when is the update? When is the update? Right now it's in Q and A. So all those people saying, "Why don't you test your stuff?" They're doing it. Shut up. <laughs> they took your advice this time. <laughs> um, it's a bit delayed. So in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to guess. If I if I was a betting man, um, I'm guessing that we'll get it uh, um, either on the tenth or the seventeenth. My guess yeah. is the tenth. I'm going three weeks personally. That's so you're going guess. the 17th. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I, okay. Because so, they said so that I'm they were pushing. 10, you're saying 17. That's our that's our bet. That's the bet. And here's why I'm saying that because when we did the Ghostbuster Q and A, they said that Ghostbusters was in QA and they were pushing it out as fast as they can because they wanted to get it out ASAP, and that took two weeks. So. And they don't want a, mis uh, a mishappen where Slimer gets into the code and messes up the game like it did last time. Yes. Yes, absolutely. When yeah. will we get the Officer Primo event? People like me want to know because my castle team is ready for Officer Primo <laughs> and he hasn't come back since next like... Next week. Oh, uh, good. Next week. Next week. Good. Because the last time he was in the game was when Global Launch happened, and nobody but the people who played since the beginning, since, you know, beta, could get it. So. So, um, somebody had asked a question about the stuff that they've created versus the stuff that, uh, um, that's officially Lego. And, um, and the answer was Rorum Mirror is the only minifigure that is our creation. He's not an official minifigure from LEGO. He's thus not really a priority to be playable right now. It was our intention to keep him discreet in the game narration for a cup for a few years before we maybe decide to change that and maybe get him as an official LEGO. That would How be awesome cool. How awesome would that be? How awesome would that be? You know, cool. the fact that, that, um, Roar, let me see if I can find a, uh, um, let me see if I can find a picture of Roram from Lego. Yeah, okay. This is, I'm going to save this, um, and put this on the screen. This is, I don't know exactly who has the, uh. Who created this? I, I know Vintage probably knows. Probably. But I put it up on the screen. This is Rorum as we see him in the game. And I could see where Lego would have an issue pulling arms off of minifigs. It was Gina Cartoon once again. <laughs> oh, man. Um so I'm just, I, you know what? I'm just grabbing the uh, the thing, and I'm going to, oh, I can't. <laughs> Credit goes up, all the way on top. Jerry Cartoon. Across both of them now. Yep. Um, but, 
It would be really cool to see if uh, to see Roram in the thing, but I do once again have a fear that Lego would be like, ah, oh, we really don't want to pull the arms off of, of minifigs. Yeah. You probably wouldn't recognize him with the right arm. See? Look how tough it is to... Oh, no. See, I pulled apart the body instead. Yeah, it's difficult. It, it is difficult to pull an arm off of a minifigure. Yes, yes. So, next one. Uh, guild quality of life. Excellent question. Uh, we are working on some of that stuff now, but it's planned for the raids update. So, space update, raids update, different. Yes. Yeah, so that we, we these are two different... Uh, two different updates we're getting even though a it's a space raid it's going to be a space raid we'll get into that we'll get into that don't don't you worry don't you worry child child a big the girl. song don't you worry don't you worry child okay. heaven's got a plan for you okay d d never mind we can't afford the song anyway no we can't no we can't are the new figures coming unboxed or brick pace bit of both so there's two one brick pace one unboxed my bet's quincy gonna be unboxed that's my bet yeah yeah Quin quincy unboxed jen's as a uh, brick pace because of how um how good they're going to be yep uh will there yep. be unlockable minifigures from the raids one minifigure that's already available but very hard to get Gorgo. We'll get more accessible with the raid. I'm going to spoiler alert you here, uh, Llama. Okay. They already said that it's going to be uh, Gormwell. Yeah. Oh, cool. Good. I'm so that's awesome. going to be easier to Boom. get. But one other minifigure, a keystone to space, will also be an exclusive re raid to the ward. He's not playable yet in the space update, but you'll be able to see him already. Please? <laughs> game Loft. Please. Keystone to please space. Please, Game Loft. Please, Game Loft. Put me in the game. Put me in the game, Game Loft. <laughs> oh, man. Please put him in there. They never answered. Twice did I ask. Twice did I, I give them a way to say it without saying it. That means it's happening. Uh, let's see here. Um, the answer in the connection to space and raids. The first raid is space themed. The story about uh, Gorwell taking o um, taking over minifigures and attacking Pip Town. Very cool. Very cool. That's awesome. Yeah. How many space characters are there in total then? New space Just, characters. Two. Yep. Two and reworks of almost all the others. Cool. Uh, what quality of life changes can we expect? Arena payout times localizing. Yes. So, not bad. Um, they did also, and I didn't copy and paste this one because it, it honestly just bends my mind. <laughs> um, the people that are saying, well, everybody else can, can sim the events twice. Tie the change in events to the time that you localize your arena payout so both can be done. Game Loft, that's my tip to you. I'm sure it's already been said, but still. Yep, yep, yep. Again, how many new space characters? Two new characters, reworks of the existing ones, but read. The space, also, the space update also brings a new collectible who is good plug and play with space as well. Who's that going to be? That he's there. So the collectibles, not space. Yeah. It's space. they they relate to space. Interesting. But they're not space. Interesting. Yep. All right. Um, let's see. Let me catch up to where you are. Will the existing space sets get some love or perhaps new ones be added? There, there is, is a, new, a set. new set. Yes. I I look forward to it, but if it's anything like the other ones, 
Mm. Like getting the set and upgrading the set? I hope not. We'll uh, see. So, Vintage, uh, go ahead and uh, explain. Um, in the chat, we'll read off what you said. By the way, if you guys did not see our interview with Vintage X last week, go check out last week's episode. It was on our YouTube. season finale. It was awesome. Um, he Vintage is a wonderful fellow content creator who uh, we're, we enjoy talking to very, very, very much. And he got to show off like almost his entire Lego collection. <laughs> well, half mine is uh, more than half. It's still in my my living room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, any chance to get a timeline or schedule for timed quests at some point? Yes, we had a call about it earlier today. Oh, that's cool. Um, I, I skipped. Uh, you one skipped or two. two. Here. So, so are you saying we are fighting a Blacktron raid boss and we'll get a new Blacktron big as a reward? Nope, Blacktron is not a raid reward or boss. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting here. Uh, how much of a rework can we expect for the space character? Some, like Kelvin, would need a complete redo, while others, like Blacktron Dwayne, do enough damage but not enough utility. On what scale would these reworks overall affect the theme? <clears throat> the answer to that was it was really dependent on the character. Some characters were a complete redo. Others were minor, some were in between that. I like to think that these reworks have made them more cohesive team that's fun to figure out and play. So I have to say that if they completely rework Kelvin, I'm quitting. I think she's perfect the way she is. Okay, well, I, I, I guess we, we, will, uh, we will miss the llama. <laughs> I have to find a third co-host for this darn show. Vintage. <laughs> vintage. Vintage. Would you like to do two uh, shows vintage? Uh, the Daily Quest, he never said that they had a plan to remove the double looting, but instead loot the once daily with just double rewards. Yeah, that'd be good. I'm good with that. And that's what I said. That's exactly what I said right after he posted the poll. I said, I'm fine with doing it once a day, but they need to readjust the rewards so it's either the same as being able to loot twice or somewhere in the middle. Because it's not fair to just take it away from most people. Because that's what—that's really what most people are getting. Yep. Is wake up in the morning. Rewards. You know, once I get to work, get you know, crack open the monster, open Lego, get my loot stuff out of the way. Yep. There was Which... just one. There's just one time zone that wasn't getting the double rewards. So if you're gonna take away double rewards for the majority, it's not. I'm not okay with that. Yep. By, by the way, uh, Hellenix, if you don't know, Kelvin is the is the person that is to the left in the uh, in the picture over there, right below Llama. That that's right uh, below Kelvin. Newbie. Aws awesome looking character, but it didn't do well in the game. Not yet. Not yet. So at least. Yep. Will um, you continue the trend of multiple characters slash sets in brick pace events? I assume the net. I assume. The space set will be available in brick pace. They're doing it again, Paul. They're doing it again. Two characters and a set. Now, don't worry. Um, I'm going to spoil this part for you. One oh, of them okay. in the brick pace event may not be new. Okay. So we might already have a piece, but for newer players, they have a way to ramp up production of that character. Okay. All right, because I was, uh, your yeah, girl was nervous. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> um, they uh, then asked, change in the bricks uh, tile rewards. At least in the brick shop, that they there should be a change. We, they want to work on the difficulty, the rewards, and the diversity of teams you face once the raid craze is behind them, and work has already started on that. Uh, oh, um, our, I just asked, uh, asked that one. Uh, will there be a brand new space related brick pace? Yes. This one is where you'll be able to get Blacktron 2 and Alpha Centauri Outpost. And also some Blacktron. Oh, there's our answer. There is our answer. Yeah, there's the set. 
No, well, not not just no. the set, but they said also some Blacktron one tiles too. So. Oh, so so you'll get Quincy, the new character, I'm assuming, and then Alpha Cent- Centauri Outpost, which is no, no, set. no, 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 no. So we got Blacktron two is Quincy. Yes, that's what I said. Blacktron one is Dwayne. Dwayne. Yeah. Yes. You you had said Dwayne uh, Quincy in the new character. I was yeah, I was just making gens sure. Gens or whatever, gens or whatever. No, gens is classic. Hmm. So we have both made the mistake this show. Anyway, oh my goodness gracious. Uh, oh, we sorry. are hitting. Uh, we've just hit thirty minutes. Okay. Uh, we are about halfway through the uh, Q and A. We're gonna take a quick break, and on the other side of this break, we are going to um, we are going to then read the rest of the Q and A. There's a big thing coming up in the Q&A that essentially came out of left field and a big surprise right at the very end that they gave out as well. We'll be right back after these messages right here on the Escape Pod cast. Have you been interested in getting items 3D printed, but haven't wanted to buy one of those expensive printers? Are you looking for a literally one-of-a-kind tech gift gadget? Evil Genius 3D Printing and Gadgets is your one-stop shop for both of those items. Nerd-owned and Escape Pod approved, put Lenny the Evil Genius to work for you. If you can dream it, he could possibly make it. Contact Lenny at evilgenius3dprinting at gmail.com for more information. That's evilgenius3dprinting at gmail.com. Get something unique in your hands. Hey there, Padawans. Lego Llama here. I interrupt this regularly scheduled break to give you a quick vocab lesson. First, I must let you know that Paul, the Zed, and the Llama are big affles. That stands for adult fan of Lego, by the way. And we, along with Neil, are playing Lego Legacy Heroes Unboxed. Not only are they playing it, but Neil and Paul have been releasing a Lego Legacy version of the Escape Pod cast every week on their YouTube channel. Visit the channel for more information. Neil knew it. He is surrounded by affholes. See you on the web. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into the second segment. I hope that uh, I hope that we didn't spoil too much for you. And <laughs> if you watch the live recording, you get the joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Yikes. Is there any chance that uh, let's get right back into the questions here? Um, is there any chance, uh, or did we already ask that one? We did already ask that one. Yeah, Changes in birth space. Changes in birth rewards. I think we are new... thing. Is oh, yeah. So here we were. The last one was brand new space-related brick pace. Okay, we were right after that. Is the new collectible space as well? Will other CMF figs, collectible mini figs, get other tags? So he is not space per se, but works as a plug and play with them. See the cross themes I posted in my first post. So yeah, well, I mean, as, as he said, it's a space army knife. Uh, Locust and Gromwell are already good. Not getting nerfed. Are they, they have been reworked to better fit the direction for space meta too long. Didn't read. They're still good or they're better. Is that what that means? Too long, didn't read? Yeah. TLDR, too long, didn't read. Mm. (laughs) Today, Llama learns internet lingo. LOL. Oh, I know that one. (laughs) When is uh, is, uh, Will going to invade my DMs about the content creator program? You know, Paul, I want to know the same thing. Right after this. My DMs were not invaded. My DMs were not invaded by anyone other than you sending me 36 screenshots from from the Q&A. Oh, man. Um, But, uh, Will, you could slide into my DMs anytime. You're more than welcome. (laughs) 
Considering there are multiple space sub-themes like Ice Planet, Blacktron, Alien, Justice, how much will each of them be supported and any word on what their niches will be? Uh, for example, playstyle. A number of space sub-themes have a particular combat focus. Blacktron focuses on punishing buffs. Alien, Anti-Taunt, Ice Planet forces on punishing foes that counter, assist, or bonus attack in classic space and this is what i love classic space focuses on speed and pep and techie focuses on anti-stealth so i mean i i i like the direction that they're going with this i think it's going to be interesting and it brings a lot more kind of theory crafting not that there wasn't already before but it brings a lot more theory crafting and strategizing and and things like that to the game um, because you literally have to say, okay, who am I facing? And let me pick and, and choose the characters that I want to take into this battle to 100% counter who I'm going up against. Yeah. And I'm sure that in, and there will be counters to those counters. Yes. This is a paper, rock, scissors, meta kind of situation. And I like it. That's just I agree. me. I agree. All will, right. will Gorwell be farmable? Raids will make Gorwell easier to get. That to me says she's going to be the raid boss. No, or she's the not raid the raid reward. boss. You'll, you'll see here in a second. She's not the raid <laughs> boss, but I believe she's going to be the lower tier. Um, I think. Um, I think they said it in this, and I hope I captured that. There's going to be two levels. There's probably uh -huh. going to be beginner and master. Mm -hmm. and she'll be the beginner shard reward, and the master shard reward will be a, a, a minifigure that they, they haven't announced yet that I'm not uh, I'm not exactly sure which one it should be, but I have an idea. So Is it me? I don't know. Is it All me? Right. Um, now, here is here was what I labeled the big question. Uh, how well did the Ghostbusters do versus your expectations? Uh, they liked to see a rush of new players, though they'd like it to have been higher. It was a unique opportunity to try a takeover format. There were some good things, and there were some things that they want to improve. At least for now, what's cool is that it made them to decide to be more transparent with the events and the time-limited quests to give a calendar to anticipate what's coming. Good! So I could say, I'm going to hold once I get to a certain threshold, because... Ray tiles will be available in the time limited events. Yes. Um, yes. And what's coming and have the events rotate more often so they're a faster unlock for everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Because we've seen Yeti come back twice now. We have yet to see Jay, who was the second unboxed event. Or, second unboxed event. I'm sure Our we'll see event. it again. Um, they said we'll see it again. But. <laughs> so space is needed for the new Master event. Will old space heroes be enough, or will the new ones be mandatory? There are only two new ones, so old heroes will be usable. Now, here's what I'm going to say. Old heroes will be usable, yes. They're going to do exactly what they did with Master Wu. So we had five pirates well before the Master Wu event came out. And yes, you technically could use those five pirates to get Master Wu, but the Master Wu event is a heck of a lot easier if you have the two new Buccaneers, Scarlet and Hank. Of similar, similar logic, I think, is going to apply here. Well, we already we already talked about how great. Um, now, note that we had this before they before they reworked all of space, so they could have reworked jens and quincy from when we did talk about them on the show but regardless we have the if they continue on where they already were they're going to be really good and yes it's going to make it easier but i think it will be passable especially because of the new reworks yes yeah but i mean i I'm a person who doesn't take any chances, Paul. So I will be making sure that I'm super prepared. <laughs> Your wallet. How, 
your sorry your your my lack of wallet is very disturbing to you, isn't it? Uh, no, not to me. It's you know free to play tears, man. Get it. <laughs> How did Commander Cold change with the update? He's colder. Oh, get your sweaters. Why would you release a brick pace event adding so many heroes sets in one event? You're forcing us to not get anything done free to play. Only whales will truly enjoy you releasing three new farms inside of a single week. And that's when that's when Will said they're not all new this time. Not all new. But whether they're all new or not is irrelevant. It's do we have the opportunity to get this quote unquote old character? Because if they throw Kartofsky into this event, that's irrelevant. I, do, I think I think it's going to be Dwayne, Dwayne in the first, Quince, uh, Quincy in the second, and then Arctic uh, Space Station or whatever it was called in the third. Mm. So. All right. Can you uh, can you add a calendar in game with the events coming up in the month and time quests? Simple answer, yes. But are they adding it in game, or are I they don't... going to do it as an external document? Right. I think they're going to do it as an external document, and maybe that people should tune into their content creators that they uh, that they watch in order to be reminded each week of what happens. Yeah, I mean that's what that's what when the calendar comes out, that's what that's what we're gonna do, right, Paul? We're gonna take the last couple of minutes at the end of every episode, and we're going to go over the events that are coming next week. Exactly, we are going we're going to be we're gonna be your weekly stop to get the latest information and you know get the idea uh, of of what you can do the following week. We're looking forward to the content creator program. Hopefully I hear something eventually tomorrow. Eventually. eventually. Uh, when you publish patch notes. Okay. Uh, we hope for next week to be confirmed. Will is on it as we speak. Well, not like right now, but like a couple of days. <laughs> <clears throat> is there a new collab IP like Ghostbusters coming sometime before the end of the year? Or early 2021. Yes. Yes. <sighs> what do you think it's going to be? Quick quick fire. What do you think it's going to be? Lego movie. Yep. That's mine as well. I think it's going to be a Lego movie. I agree. Um, can you let guild leaders check the entire guild's contributions to guild quests instead of just the top three? It's something that they're working on in the to-do list. And that'll be good. That'll help my guild leader. Vintage. <laughs> my, yes, the, uh, the my my guild leader will be like Paul. You've logged in, but where's your contributions? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this week, uh, let's quickly address it. This yeah. week, my area of the country was pretty much under constant uh, um, constant worry from the uh, Hurricane Laura. Luckily, it just barely missed us. Um, and so the astonishing Imperial Trash Pandas, you guys are um, you guys are great. Thank you for, for not hating me that I couldn't get everything done. <laughs> All right. Um, Is there a campaign expansion with the gear and level upgrade? No. They are actually going to be integrated in the current nodes. I don't know if I'm happy about this or disappointed that we can't get more Magisto tiles with additional achievements. Or can we? Are there more achievements? Maybe see, there will be what, more achievements. This is what happens when I don't get to see things live. I have no idea what's happening. Does a new space character have an ultimate? The future incoming space hero will have an ultimate. So I'm assuming that it's not going to be Quincy. It's going to be Jens because he is a classic space character instead yeah. of a black Tron character. Right. Do, do you think, uh, do you think they will have a, I mean, we've got locust. We do. We do have locust that has an ultimate. 
but it's so. it's gonna be Jen's for show. All right, so so that's your that's your bet. Is gonna be classic uh, classic space Jen's. Yeah, um, that's I'm putting money down Jen's. Everybody, clip it and remember it. <laughs> It, uh, is Gear Seal 7 farmable, all stuff in the game, or is it going to be from raids? Everything is going to be farmable. Good. Stock up on your energy. Yep. Uh, Gildan, uh, little wooden boy just out there put guild improvements we're working on right now. Our leader and officer changes, not getting more specific as they're trying to see what they can get done. Add in leaderboards for guild dailies and some fixes to guild searching. Thank you, little wooden boy, for your service. Thank you. Um, okay, where, what is the uh, acronym that I'm missing here? When is FI nerf happening? I'm not sure what FI. Is it um, the uh, the Forbidden Island set? That yeah. might be it. Yeah, and RB is annoying. You may need some chill characters on your team to deal with all the extra attacks of Forbidden Island. Chill characters. Wink, 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 wink. Calvin. Cold. Cold. Kelvin. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, Mars Mission in, uh, in internet trolley speak. The space update doesn't feature Mars Mission yet. But you'll be able to move another theme from the first column of your table. That was to uh, Blue Imaginite. From the first column. So I'm of... guessing the the uh, stuff that Blue does for uh, for the sets mm. in their rankings. Mm. Gotcha. Right. Yeah that that it, that was um, interesting to read. Where's what's the next one that we are uh, that we're at? Uh, will we see more campaign nodes with the level sixty increase? No, our focus right now is filling out the minifigure set slash roster or minifigure slash set roster and getting events built. Yep. Any brick expedition rework? Most of them are uh, most of them are not enjoying it. It seems we're adding in more variety into the incoming updates with the level and gear cap going up. They should be see a wider variety in the teams. Wu and Jay also in September, question mark. We'll publish our event calendar. They'll come back soon, indeed. Will there, uh, when will the level cap increase? When the update is out sometime in September. Whose master event requires space? It's an iconic, spectacular minifigure. Are they really going to do... Spooky girl? No. No. Yeah, I was going to say. No. Iconic spooktacular minifigure. So, it's, I can't think of somebody. I, it's not, it, it can't be somebody that we already have in the game. Nope. Glow in the dark ghost, says Vintage. A glow in the dark ghost. Okay, I, I do have that down there in the box. <laughs> is there is there someone else like that's like a fright night character from those sets? But that wouldn't be a take off of the other. Um, that that wouldn't be a take off of other stories like Dracula or Wolfman or things like that. The only one that I could think of would be the glow in the dark ghost. Yeah. I do. I actually think uh, think that would be right. So vin vintage X extolling more more Why knowledge is he upon like us. So we much love it. Better at this than I am. He was in Fright Night. Yeah. So the the glow in the dark ghost was in Fright Night. Okay. Um, All right. Well, when does free to player global launch get another shot at Woo? The Woo event will be back before Halloween, I think, in early October. But we're finishing the calendar now. Cool, cool. I'm gonna get him this time, Paul. I'm gonna get him. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Yep. 
With gear seven and level 60, are we expecting to have an increase in set stars? Also, are we expecting an increase in skill level, AKA from five to six? Not yet for sets and abilities, but definitely something we're thinking about for the future. We don't want to unlock everything at once. It needs some time for all players to progress before we open a new cap. So here's my question when we talk about sets. Mm -hmm. So you know how when we get a character to seven stars, we there any additional tiles we get for them turn into master tokens or whatever they're called right when doesn't you happen with sets does it no so what happens to the tiles they're lost forever if they're lost forever i'm going to be really annoyed <laughs> because there's that whole event there's that whole like event that we have that goes like every week or whatever that that thing where it's all about set tiles and i've maxed everything out and every single one of those five sets are all max five stars for me but i go in every week and continue to sim one of the nodes so what happens to the tiles that i'm collecting i want to know man you'll, you'll find out you'll find out i'll find out that's something we can ask him once we finally get into the content creator program. I, see, I should have sent you that question to ask in the Q&A. But you I should have. You absolutely should have. Next uh, time. What was the intended player response for Time Quest? And what is being done to incentivize actually playing the game? The intended response is to supplement players with more rewards by just playing. There are some Time Quests and also provide more access to minifigures. We also... We'll have more challenging time quests intended for mid to late game that provide really nice tiles. But so, like, that's, like, super, like, perspective-y, right? Because technically, we are all early game. This is not a very mature game <laughs> right now. Yeah, we're, we're well, we're mid. Uh, you and, you are nearly late with your whole Slimer. But I'm mid. I would say I'm mid. Yeah, I guess it's all about perspective, right? Yeah. It is all about perspective. I did hit 1 million uh, total awesomeness. I don't know if I mentioned that last week. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. All right, where are we on this? Mm, we are at, so which of the new Space minifigures is slated to be released first? Quincy. Yep. Uh, what uh, will the master character be released in September? Halloween. Yeah, see that to me, like I agree with vintage. That screams ghost. So, all right. Uh, will the space theme uh, sub themes have full team support? Uh, space. Once again, they mentioned space is a bit of more of a mix and match themes like Blacktron and Ice Planet are somewhat limited. Think of space more like a Swiss Army knife that can adapt to multiple scenarios. You might want to bring Ice Planet instead of Blacktron 1 and 2 because their synergy is better for whatever whatever your battle is on. But then, um, out of nowhere, Little Wooden Boy, I, I, I'm He start does this, and I love it. He does this, and I love it. He, like, sits there, and he's quiet, and then all of a sudden, no one prompts him with a question, but he just sends a whole bunch of information. It's, like, the best part. <laughs> and so... So, Will, outside of you, um, we love you, Abbo, but we would love to talk to Little Wooden Boy. Give me Little Wooden Boy. Give us Little Wooden Boy because we have a feeling that Little Wooden Boy would have the uh, would have the perfect non sequiturs for this type of show because yes. we're always going off on tangents. Yes, He's and it would tangent. be fun to see where his ta where Little Wooden Boy's tangents would take us. Mm -hmm. uh, here's what I have on raid so far. It's for the whole guild, Captain Obvious. I love that. <laughs> there will be multiple difficulty tiers, although we'll probably launch with one or two. That's, see, that's where I put in the one or two. Mm -hmm. um, the theme is Gorwell is invading Pip Town with her minions. The structure is a four-node fight, not linear. Um, they think that one is locked behind another. Kind of like Dragon Champions. Did you play that? I did play Dragon Champion. So their raids, you had to beat all three tiers to get to the final tier. I think that's how they're doing it. Um, 
There is a raid boss, not a minifigure. Yeah, so what's the boss if it's not a minifigure? It's a set. Th- think of think of the uh, end of Lego Movie 1, mm-hmm. where he builds the gigantic... Uh, um, where Emmett builds the 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 set, the excavator, turns the bulldozer into the into the gigantic fighting robot monster. Think of it like right. that. But see, to me, like when you say that, I immediately think of the Ninjago movie. I know people don't like to talk about it, but I immediately think of the Ninjago movie and the cat, where like the ultimate weapon like was the cat, and the cat came and started destroying the town. Possibly. Possibly, but I do think it'll be built in Lego. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, uh, vintage, I, I know it was after the spam that happened. That's the only bad thing about uh, about the q and is, is people spamming everything. It's uh, very spammy. Uh, and you'll get re- based, rewards based on your individual contribution. It's coming as soon as, I, uh, as soon as possible, and they're working on it right now. So, rewards based on individual contribution. It's... All that I'm, uh, all that I want to do is just see, you know, iconic characters come to this game that are space related. So, all right. Um, let's move along here and to the next thing by Thorox. Thorox because quickly becoming one of my favorites. <laughs> They're all our favorites. Let's be uh, real. Kartowski will be available in the Master Shop still, and Gore will become more easily accessible with raids. See, that's that's why I said Karstowski will not be easily accessible as, gotcha. as we would want it to. Um, if every faction could heal, half the space team would just be healers. Yeah. Uh, is there an estimated time for patch notes? Mid to late next week. Maybe Hopefully of- we're mid and not late because I would like to cover them next Ma- week. Well, Thursday is mid to late week. Oh, very, very true. Is there any specific reason why Poppy gets a rework during space? Who said Poppy's getting a rework? Was that a that, that was the That was the big surprise that they gave us is that Poppy was reworked as well. Um... So honestly, we had a new designer join the team. So we gave him a shot at redesigning a character as a design test, just to see how he'd do. We thought he did such a good job that we decided to make it official, make it an official rework and push it out as soon as we could. Our new designer also helped out with a couple of the rework space characters too. Good job, new guy. And we would like to know who this new guy is. Shine the light upon them. Yeah, I, I want to know. I like friends. <laughs> uh let's see is there any sp- uh that that's that's the one that you just read wow actually the poppy update can we ask what she will do now she still heals and uses courage tokens mm-hmm. courage do you um, remember who gets courage interesting winston uh ash and winston yep yep um unboxes coming. clock work robot when Clockwork Robot when? Unbox is coming this update. So that's the collectible. That's the collectible that works with space. And remember, the uh, the unboxed, um, or not the unboxed, the Clockwork Robot is one of the fastest characters in the game. Or maybe the yes, slowest. I thought, I thought it was the fastest. Uh, no, he's one of the slowest. He's one of the slowest characters in the game. Um... So, so Abix, okay. Uh, so that's your unboxed, right? So I was not done with Clockwork Robot. Go ahead. But it's okay. We can move on. No, you're no. Fine. I was just saying. So Clockwork is going to be the Clockwork Robot is going to be the unboxed event. So that means for sure Quincy is. I mean, I know it was already confirmed, but that's going to be the brick base. Yeah. Now. Um, I, I am going to copy this response and I'm going to keep it in my phone to Uh post anytime somebody on the Facebook groups says, why can't I chat in game? Yeah. Abex guild chat, or will we have to use discord for raid planning? 
And he responds, we've answered this in several previous Q&As, but it's a very valid one. We'd love for a ch free, we'd all love a free chat to ease in-game communications, but LEGO doesn't allow it. Not, is not, is not allowing it, or it's definitive, doesn't allow it in their games for kids' safety reasons. That being said, they have a few things they want to act. They want to do to actually communicate in a safe way in game, not linked to raids per se. So my thoughts, and I'm going to give this one to you for free, Game Loft. <laughs> if they, if there was a way that you could, in your guild store post a like link to a discord server for your guild and make it no uh what well, what's what's the word if you abuse that you get it taken away forever just my thought but make it so we can click a discord link and go to a discord thing for our guild yeah, because be there's there's a lot of guilds who use Discord, but there's no way to get random people in game into Discord. So it it is frustrating for these players because they don't know guilds use Discord, and it's difficult because like they try and join a guild and then they get kicked because they can't they're not on Discord. Correct. It's discouraging. Yeah. Next question. Can we have a full rest of year roadmap update? Well, uh, Will says, sure. Space, raids, then secrets. <laughs> I like secrets. Uh, finally, two by Abix. I'll read this one, and then you can read the last one. Will raids okay. be more like Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes or Marvel Strike Force? They said, well, Marvel Strike Force is just normal fights on a global map, so no. But they're also not linear like Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes phases, trying to do our own thing. So once again, it sounds a lot like what it would be for Dragon Champions, where it was defeat three, go against the boss. Yep. And that's sort of how like they run in Swaggo as well, but instead of but they're not separate battles, they're kind of phases in one battle. Oh, I didn't realize the last question was essentially me just same. copying a little wooden boy's answer. <laughs> same. It's the same. It's okay. It's all right. So that does it for uh, that. That does it for the Q and A. I was excited to read it. I look forward to seeing more, and hopefully next. Uh, I, I'm I'm extending our our season. This is still season one, episode twenty one. Oh, we did extend. I thought we were new. No. Uh, I wanted to. I wanted to start it with the content creator program, and I really thought with the Q and A they would have also announced the content creator program. So, hi, we're still in season one. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Plus, I gotta change the background. The background still is Ghostbusters. Well, we don't have anything Ghostbusters to anymore. To. All right. Question from Vintage. Do you think tiles will be given similar to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes? For example, 10 for first, down to 1 guaranteed. I would say 3 is going to be the minimum. I agree as well. I think that because you need more tiles to 7-star a character, they have to. I'm not going to say they will, but in my opinion, they have to give us greater baseline rewards than Swago. I've talked about this a bazillion times. It's my biggest gripe in the game. Don't copy Swago when you're giving out rewards, especially tiles, because it takes way more tiles to take a character to seven stars in this game than it does to Star Wars. Yes. So give us a minimum of three, please. So. Please. All right. Uh, any other questions? Any other questions here? I'm scrolling back through the chat. I did not see any. <laughs> Boulder Doobies tells me that he's boss state admiral. What's up, D? I, I appreciate. Uh, I'm glad. You know, 
it's kind of fun seeing all the people that we were in uh that were in both Heinze's original guild and and that we've made friends with in uh in the Star Wars or not Star Wars in the Lego Legacy server kind of all come together in one guild. It is really really fun. Uh Rob, Alliance. what Alliance. rework are you most excited for not knowing what to expect? Um uh, I I think Kelvin, to be honest with you, Kelvin is, I'm very, very grateful for that. Grateful. No, I'm excited for, um, for Dwayne. I really am. I think he's a really cool character and I'm excited to see what he'll be able to do. And I'll, I'll be happy to have him finally live up to his full potential. All right. Well, with that, I don't think we are. We did uh, cross the hour mark, so let's oh, uh, let's go ahead and wrap it up here. Will the llama ever be immortalized in Lego Legacy Heroes Unboxed? I am telling you right now, if this glorious, glorious minifigure ever makes its way into the game, I will set a Guinness World Record for fastest character to seven stars <laughs> so and it, my photo in game will be the llama Until i'm sure i'm sure that it will and of course we uh we have the escape pod and uh uh and i have my llama back here well i'm excited you're very scared of my driving <laughs> <laughs> all right uh Hellenic says i demand the above i shall have it no other way i concur good sir you know if sadly i can't do the reverse and say if once they put benny in i'm going to have him to seven stars right away because i think it's going to be team based yeah i'm speculating with no prior knowledge from anything that it will be Benny or Lego movies coming soon. I just know, and you can check back in the past. I just know Benny is my spirit Lego. I mean, they already have his picture in the game. So like they're already like, and they don't have the his there. picture in the game because the, the, the picture of the classic space logo is not scuffed up and his helmet is not broken. It's not Benny. I don't care what you say. All right. With that being said, we are going to wrap it up for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in live to everybody that uh, that did so. We really appreciate each and every single one of you. Tomorrow is... Um, Friday. Tomorrow is Friday, so that will be the Lego... Uh, that will be the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes edition of the Escape Podcast. We will have a non-Swaga guest for our incoming transmission. Really? A uh, cosplayer that uh, Neil likes a lot. So, should be should be fun there. And then, uh, coming up, and I think I did mention this uh, before, but I'm mentioning it now. Coming up, September 19th and 20th, will be the Creator Cup. Vasari Gaming and I kind of decided that uh, we were we wanted to do our own version of Content Creator Writer Cup. Uh, we're going to be playing a whole bunch of different games. Um, different members of our group will be playing those games, including the Llama, including yes. Neil, including Fighting Drunk. Uh, these are all the people for for our uh, for our side. Lots of lots of people and Hellenix is a moderator for us uh, don't forget b-dub b-dub's on our team too so i know we're gonna win yeah we got biscuit weasel on our team we also have um I, I, i'm geek girl geek girl thank you and then more you know those aren't the definitive people i'm sure he'll bring some additional people we'll bring some additional people especially for the <laughs> larger games if you will but nonetheless win we're gonna win, guys. We're gonna win. <laughs> Are we actually keeping score? We're we're actually gonna keep score. 
Um, but it's all to raise money for world child cancer. Because no child, no matter where they're born, should have to endure, endure the horrors of cancer. So, that being said, be nice to each other, damn it. We love each and every single one of you. Please be careful out there. Wear a mask. If you're affected by any of the storms, by any of the disasters in this world, the, the fires, anything of that, if you need something, reach out. If we can make it happen, we will do our best. Any parting words, Llama? No, thank you guys. We love you guys. We appreciate you guys. Stay safe. All right. With that being said, have a good night and Llama! Yes, sir. Push the button. Peace, peace. Shh. <laughs>